Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down a major and dangerous winter storm that's coming to the Midwest and the Northern Ohio Valley as we go into this weekend both Friday and Saturday this could bring upwards of 12 to maybe even 15 inches of snow to parts of the Midwest and as well as the Great Lakes region we'll also be breaking down the threat of significant severe weather in the Southeast United States as we go into Thursday and Friday. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast and let's begin first with what's happening here over the next few days across the United States and to look at that we're going to check out the future radar. So beginning with tomorrow there's not going to be really a whole lot of activity across the United States until we get to Thursday evening. So notice this around six o'clock tomorrow we're going to have a low pressure system beginning to develop back over in the southern plains across parts of the Texas Panhandle and as well as back through Oklahoma. There will be a couple of showers maybe some thunderstorms across the mississippi valley a little bit of light snow across the central plains as well by the way a lot of cold air infection up here to the north of this low pressure system and a lot of that is going to push down into the southern plains as we go into friday afternoon and evening which will lead to much colder weather but this is not the arctic blast the arctic blast will not arrive until sunday for most of the southern plains once we go into thursday evening around nine o'clock showers and storms will start to fire off across parts of north texas back through arkansas louisiana and eastern and south eastern parts of Oklahoma. This area in particular does have a threat for severe weather tomorrow night, and I'll be talking about more details on that later in this forecast. And then we also have a winter storm that'll begin to develop back off to the north of this low pressure system, back over in the central plains. That's where it's at least going to begin. And then once we go into Friday morning, this system will start to move off to the east very slowly, but surely we'll have showers and storms continuing, most likely a line of storms that'll be producing severe weather, including damaging winds, and perhaps even a few tornadoes as we go throughout the day Friday but the really the big event out of this there's gonna be two of them the first one would be the severe weather threat in the southeast on Thursday night into Friday because there is a chance for multiple tornadoes we might even see a few more strong tornadoes in addition to that damaging winds a significant amount of damaging winds are also expected out of this particular system but also on the flip side we're gonna have a winter storm back over in the Midwest perhaps the northern Ohio Valley Which, by the way when I say the northern Ohio Valley I'm mostly talking about northern Indiana maybe northwest Ohio those would be the areas to watch for as we go into Friday morning. Notice this, though, again, severe weather continuing across the Dixie Alley going into Friday morning into the afternoon hours. Heavy snowfall will start to ramp up from Missouri back into parts of the Midwest, including northern Illinois, as well as southern and eastern Wisconsin, and as well as much of Michigan will start to see snow as we go into Friday afternoon. This is by 3 o'clock. We'll have very heavy snowfall across much of the Midwest, and again, back into southern Michigan. It'll be dumping snowfall out there. And then once we go into Friday evening, a lot of this snowfall will start to move more into Michigan. Michigan, where heavy snowfall will be ongoing. Parts of southern Canada will get on the, in on the fun with heavier snowfall there as well. And then once we go into Saturday morning, some snow will move into northern New England, but mostly rain if you're in southern New England. I'm not really forecasting much snow, if any, from anywhere from about the Massachusetts and New Hampshire border and southward. I think it's going to be all rain down that direction. But again, some heavy snowfall could mix in back over northern New England, including northern New Hampshire, Maine, and Vermont as we go into Saturday morning. And eventually, as we get closer to about lunchtime on Saturday, most of this snow will move out. Then we'll be talking about the potential for lake effect snow and i'll be talking about that here in just a second now here are the travel impacts that are currently being forecasted by the weather prediction center and notice the key at the bottom of your screen down here so there is a high likelihood at this point of seeing major travel impacts near the chicago area including the chicago suburbs and even back into southeast parts of wisconsin here the milwaukee area those areas could have some major travel impacts as well again in those red shaded areas and even some areas back over in iowa a few chances there of some major travel impacts and again and this would be primarily for Friday into Saturday morning. Moderate travel impacts currently expected across much of Michigan, at least minor at the bare minimum, even near the Detroit area. I do expect at least a little bit of snowfall there. Even parts of Ohio, there are some areas in minor to moderate travel impacts. And then back through much of Iowa, we at least have limited travel impacts in the state, but minor to moderate travel impacts definitely in the, in the potential here with this sort of setup. And again, we're going to have some blizzard conditions. So that'll lead to some very major travel impacts, especially near the Chicago suburbs. Now, I did want to mention the wind gusts because there are going to be some blizzard conditions across the Midwest. This is as we go into Friday around lunchtime. And notice, we're going to have heavy snowfall during this time in parts of the Midwest and Michigan. Wind gusts will be around 30 to 45 miles per hour. So this will definitely lead to some blizzard conditions as we go into Friday afternoon. And even by the evening hours where snow is still going to be falling, wind gusts around 30 to 45 miles per hour, maybe even near 50 to 55 miles per hour right along the Great Lakes. So be mindful. If you have any travel plans right now for Friday or Saturday, you might want to 
to push them out or at least cancel them at the bare minimum because it does look to be a pretty wacky day overall even though it's not wacky we weather wednesday it's going to be more like flying fences friday but in the sense of snow all right let's talk more about the future radar here going through the specific timing this is what we're looking at friday morning around three in the morning so pretty early we're going to start to see some light snow entering into parts of the midwest heavy snow will ramp up around six in the morning across parts of northeast illinois and back through parts of northern indiana now notice this closely if you are in northern indiana ohio or even in southern michigan you're gonna have to watch this freezing line very closely because there is a chance that we go from snow initially to purely a cold rain so that transition will be pretty critical to watch as we go into friday because you might see a lot of snow you also might not see really any snow if you're really right along that line friday morning this is by lunchtime though so mostly rain across much of illinois the only exception again on the western and northern side of the state is where it will be purely snow during the afternoon hours but rain will start to leak into parts of northern indiana and will eventually transition into purely rain at least most likely as we go closer to about friday around three o'clock with still maybe a mixture right along the border there of northern indiana so the county's bordering michigan heavy snowfall in the purples that you're seeing here and as well as the dark blues and then once we get closer to about six o'clock on friday the heaviest of the snowfall will be across michigan maybe a little bit still remaining in the chicago suburbs and then this all starts to move to the north and east as we go into late friday night and eventually saturday morning at six in the morning some light snow will still remain but guess what that's not it we're not done with snow by saturday morning because we are going to be watching for lake effect snow because we are going to have a westerly wind across parts of the great lakes and even back over in lake erie there will also be some lake effect snow over there near erie pennsylvania for example now this is what we're looking at going into sunday morning again notice how that lake effect snow just continues right now the european model is indicating this will be pretty light snow overall but even with it being light it's going to accumulate pretty quickly especially if we're talking about the snow lasting beyond a day this will go all the way into monday morning by the way we're going to continue to see some lake effect snow and as long as the winds continue to come out of the west i don't see when this is actually going to end anytime soon i think it's going to go probably at least through monday afternoon but it might even start to ramp back up again on tuesday morning we might still have a little bit of light snow there eventually by tuesday afternoon i think we're done with this i think the winds will change direction but obviously if the winds stay from west to east for a while we could be talking about lake effect snow for around 48 hours but again i think a lot of it's going to be light i don't think it's going to be super heavy so that's just something to keep in mind there here are the probabilities of seeing greater than four inches of snowfall notice right now areas near chicago about 100 percent chance at this point same thing with most of michigan by the way the only area that's not above 50 percent is really like one maybe two counties here in very far southeastern michigan that's about it just south of detroit so those areas in particular i'd say it's a lower chance overall of those areas seeing four inches or greater of snowfall but i think most of the state will see greater than four inches of snowfall now here's what the european model thinks in terms of total snowfall accumulation this is prior to the lake effect snow by the way so this would be anything up until the lake effect snow i do not think we're going to see a widespread 12 to 18 inches of snow like the european model is showing what i will say though is i do think most areas that i'm going to outline right here so anywhere that's outlined i think all these areas for the most part will at least see four to eight inches of snow i think many areas back over in like northeastern parts of illinois as well southeastern parts of wisconsin back into much of central and western michigan we'll see between about 8 to 14 inches of snow with an isolated few spots picking up between 14 to 18 inches of snow i don't think everybody's going to see that i think the highest likelihood of us seeing greater than 14 inches of snowfall would be across areas right here where we're going to see lake effect snow and notice this the european model will take this area from about 18 inches of snow total that's the estimate at least going to saturday afternoon it will actually take it upwards of 22 inches of snow as we go through monday because of the lake effect snow potential so in conclusion again i think most areas will be below 12 inches of snow i wouldn't be surprised though if we have some isolated to maybe widely scattered areas pick up between 12 to 18 inches of snow and even 14 to 18 inches like i mentioned before like that would basically be the range that we'd be talking about for the isolated uh, snowfall accumulation and we might see a few additional inches of snow back over in southwest michigan but lake effect snow is a bit more uncertain at this time so stay tuned make sure to subscribe to the channel we'll keep you posted with the latest and also i do think i'm going to be going live either tonight or tomorrow Tomorrow for a full detailed forecast breakdown answering your questions so make sure you are subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon down below so you're notified if and when we do go live here's a severe weather threat by the way going into tossing trampolines on tall trees thursday we have a slight risk of severe weather for arkansas texas louisiana western mississippi main concern tomorrow damaging winds some large hail also a couple of tornadoes will be possible i think by far friday flying fences friday will be way more concerning in terms of severe weather i think we're gonna have multiple tornadoes on friday across this enhanced risk of severe weather and even outside of that we could still see some tornadoes outside of that from virginia back into parts of eastern louisiana main concern going to friday 
will be significant damaging winds, perhaps also some large hail, but again, tornadoes will be a concern as well. Few could be strong. I'll have a full detailed forecast on the severe weather either tomorrow or in our next live stream. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.